it's me and Abella. And today we're going to be dividing monomials. But how do we do that? Well, we use the quotient of power property. Well, what does that mean? It states that when we're dividing and we have two of the same bases, we keep the base and subtract the powers, numerator minus denominator. Let's get started. Look, we have a two affecting everybody in the parentheses. Negative 4 raised to the power of 2 is 16. Hmm, but how do we solve x? Well, we use the power rule. We're going to multiply the exponents. So that would be x. 4 times 2 is 8, so x by the power of 8. The same rule applies to y. 3 times 2 is 6. So y by the power of 6. Now we put the denominator. Ta-da! Now we're ready to divide. 16 divided by 8 equals 2. Now look, we have the same base, x. So we're going to keep it, x. But what do we do with the exponents now? Well, we subtract 8 minus 9. The same thing applies with y. Keep the y. 6 minus 6. Now we solve. 2x. raised to the power of 8 minus 9, that would be negative 1, negative 1. Now y. 6 minus 6 is 0, so y by the power of 0. Easy, right? But wait, that's not our answer. We still have to solve it. Look y by the power of zero. The zero exponent rule says that when we have raised to the power of zero, it's going to be equal to one. <laughs> Equals two x. Negative one. Ta-da! But still we're not done. You know how in life, we don't like negative people and negative talk? Well, in math, we don't like negative exponents. And look, the negative exponent rule says that a negative exponent is equal to its reciprocal. That would be equal to two, 1 over x by the power of 1. And remember, x by the power of 1 is equal to x. And now the 1. Now we need to multiply. So here's our answer. 2 over x. We're really done. Bye! See you soon! Don't forget to subscribe!